Got any cards? Do I have cards? No, it's not like I'm holding cards right now. Jeez, it was just a question. It was a stupid question. You're stupid. You're stupid. All right, whatever. Yeah, whatever. Just play your stupid cards. You know what? Fine. Maybe I will play my stupid cards. So you admit you have stupid cards? Yes, I have stupid cards. So you're saying I could beat you? No, you can't beat me. Want to bet? Bet. All right, then. Let's play. Okay, okay. How about that? Are you serious? Too easy. Okay. How about that? Still garbage, man. Oh, you're just throwing down anything at this point. You are too. And it's not even up there, right? It doesn't matter. I still played it. Whatever. Um, how about that? That's nothing. You just threw down the same color card. Like, you want to be me so bad. It's just annoying. Oh, trust me, Monty. No one wants to be like you. You have a fat cranium. I would never want a big head like yours. Oh, that is it. I had enough of your bo- Vanny, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine, I guess. I'm just, I'm just a little hungry. A little hungry? That growl didn't sound like you're a little hungry. Sounds like you're extremely hungry. When was the last time you ate exactly? Well, maybe a day or two ago. A day or two ago? Vanny, you need to eat something. I'm fine. I don't need to eat anything. That That's not how it works. Come on, Monty, help me out here. Yeah, Vanny, you need to eat something. I mean, I get it. You want to watch over Foxy and make sure everything's okay. But me and Fo- me me and Do- uh, Doxy is in here. You- Look, it'll be perfectly fine. Just go eat something. I don't know. I don't trust you, Monty. You're reckless. Me? You're reckless? She kind of does have a point. What? So what if I'm a little reckless? I'm not going to hurt Foxy. I'm not going to throw him against the wall or anything. Mm-hmm. Vanny, trust me. We're not going to let anything happen. We're just playing Uno. There's no harm in that. Well, maybe maybe you're right. I just... It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll go make something to eat. Hmm. Well, at least she's going to eat something. Now back to you! Oh, that's how it is? What the... Huh? Ah! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. I'm back in the real world. Yes, let's go. Uh, hey guys, Foxy, you're back. Oh, thank God. I thought you were never gonna come out of there. Don't you ever scare me like that again. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm sorry. Jeez. <laughs> What's going on, Foxy? Oh, hey, Vanny. I was. I'm just glad you're okay. All right. Well, I'm back now, so um, guess things could go back to normal, right? Yeah, it must have been a long time for you and your diamond. It must have been a long week for you. A week? I was only in there for like 30 minutes. 30 minutes? What do you mean? You was trapped in there for a week. Ever since that other Luigi thing attack happened, you've been there for a week. A week has passed. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about. It's only been 30 minutes for me. Guys, just be logical. Wherever he was, clearly time flows different where he was. Yeah, clearly. Well, I'm pretty sure Freddy and Chica will be happy to see you. Correction, his name is Fred Bag. It's Freddy. Yeah, whatever, it's Fred Bag. I think we should just wait for them to arrive. They went out. Alright then. Monty, your room is so boring. Is there nothing else to do in here? Well, if it's so boring, then why don't you leave? Whatever. And you need to clean your closet. Jesus Christ, what is that? Is someone diarrhea on your door? Shut up. I shook up a Pepsi, and then it got all over the door. Whatever you say. What's even in here? Clothes? It's a closet. Well, yeah, you weren't lying. There are some clothes up in here. And some stuff. A lot of paintings. Jesus, Monty, I didn't know you liked to paint. What the heck are these? You know, this is actually really comfortable. Well, yeah, you deserve it. You deserve the comfort. You've been through a lot lately. I guess. 
Do you all have to be in my room? Are you just gonna keep complaining? <sighs> Monty, what are these? Hey, where did you find those? They were in your closet. You know what are they? They're just drinks. Drinks for me, myself, and I. Right. Seems like you've really been bottling one of them. Look, why do you even care? You could care, you could tell it was just a drink. How do you care? Act like you've never seen a drink before. Jeez, hop off. I'm just saying. I've never seen these before. <sighs> if you must know and you're curious, I got them about a week ago. Okay. It doesn't answer my question. Well, it kind of does. Anyway, well, no, it doesn't answer my question. What are they? You, you said when you bought them. It, it doesn't answer my question. Kind of strong. Monty, is this alcohol? You know what? Yeah, fine. It's alcohol. Why are you drinking alcohol? It's just a way for me to go. I was... It's kind of embarrassing to say, but I was kind of stressed out without Foxy being here. Hmm. Well, stop drinking then. It's not healthy. Hey guys, we're back. Uh, Foxy? Foxy! Foxy, I'm so glad you're alright. Uh, are, are you not happy to see us? It's, it's not that. It's just... Uh, nothing. I know what's going on. He's surprised that we're actually showing him affection. Jesus, why did you have to say it out loud? Hey, it's just a... Uh, it's just a... Something I was born with. A special kink of mine. Kink? Not that type of kink. But yes, he's surprised that everyone's showing him emotions because his whole life, no one aside from me mom and that's about it well you know what just know that all of us in here care about you you're like family to us the jeweler what go check the drawer the drawer what, what are you talking about what drawer something is hold on let me get myself out of this real quick <laughs> anyway Something is telling me to open this top drawer. Well, go ahead and do it. Alright then. <coughs> Holy. What is all of this stuff? What are you talking about? Uh, move this. What are you talking about? Jesus. What? What is all of this stuff? Everything seems foreign. Maybe it's his, but we won't know until we check. What do you guys think all of this stuff is? I don't know. Where do where do I even start? Well, I've done tons of research on stuff like this, so maybe you can pull everything out and I'll just tell you what it is or what I think it is. Okay. Well, I guess I'll start off with this bag. These are... Hmm. You know what these are? Yes. Actually, I've done research on these. These are these are some type of crystals that the gods used to use. It was sort of like a drug, kind of. It'll kind of boost their powers. Sort of like SPP, or whatever it's called. So... What's next? Okay, you kind of just breeze past that. What the? What's this? Hmm. Red walnuts are rare. They're not exactly extinct. Not extinct, like, gone, but... Hmm. These are really rare. Why is all this stuff in here? That's what I want to know. Hmm. There's a lot of stuff in here, kind of. Whoa, is that real gold? Isn't gold extremely rare? It is. In the war that happened 50 years ago, they used all the gold for armor. Hmm. So, how was this here? I don't know. 
They used all of the gold for armor. Then when they ran out of armor, they started to use silver gold. So I don't even see how this is even here. Hmm. Maybe they managed to find some scraps? Maybe, but if that's the case, there might still be some more gold on the island somewhere. Maybe. What's this? Oh, that's nothing. I don't even know what it is. Alright then. Jeez. What about those things? Oh! These! I always wanted to see one of these, but I thought I would never be able to find one. These are sort of like bracelets that the gods would use. For example, this bracelet was able to control water, that one was able to control air, and this one was able to control, well, practically anything. Hmm. Then again, around the time that these were made, around the time the one made of stone was made, basically the earth one. Talking about this one? Exactly that one! I can't believe I'm seeing these for real. Why would all these real relic items be in this random drawer? Yeah, your guess is as good as mine. Golden pins? Those are no golden pins. I'm surprised they're even here. You sure do know a lot, Fred Bag. Yeah, because I actually do research, Mon Bag. That wasn't funny. Yeah, whatever. These golden pins were the first sign of magic or powers ever. These pins had the power to write the future, no matter what it was. So I'm surprised they're here. Do they still work? They probably still do, but... I just... Why are they here? This is a little fishy. Maybe the king has something to do with this. You're probably right. Why are they here? This stuff makes no sense. And the gold bars and the silver bars? What is this stuff supposed to mean? Anything else in there that matches something like these? Well, there's... This thing? I've seen this somewhere, but I can't exactly put my finger on it. Apparently. I don't exactly know what that is. Hmm. I guess anyone's guess is as good as mine. I'll probably have to do some research. Okay, good. I'm in those box. Okay, Freddy. Do me a favor. I need you to do this major task for me. Okay? What's the task? I need you to gather... What is this? Uh, what the... What are these? What are those? Those look weird. Spiky. I don't like them. They still look a little weird. Yeah, bro. You might want to stay back. You don't know what those are. Right. They seem to just be like some design stones. They don't seem like anything special. Hmm. Okay, Freddy. Like I was saying, I want you to take all of this stuff, everything that's in here, and I want you to try to make like a timeline. A timeline. Are you serious? I, I know it sounds a little stupid, but I just have to know. Because why would something tell me to look in here if this was just a bunch of nothingness? And you do a lot of research. This should be right up your alley. It is, but do I really have to? Please, Freddy, please. I'm begging you. All right, fine, fine. I'll do it. But I, I probably won't like it. All right, just as long as you get it done. Just take whatever this is. Oh, oh this sounds kind of heavy. And just everything else. And just see if you can make a total sort of timeline when all of this stuff came to be. Alright, I'll try.
red bag. Are you done yet? It's been like five hours. Oh yes. Oh yes, I am done. Oh yes, I am. All right, just stop being weird about it. What did you find out? You all are just in time. I just finished creating at least what I think to be the greatest, most put together, at least somewhat timeline that I could think of. Putting everything in chronological order. From the oldest to the most recent. I can't believe I did it. My brain hurts from all of the research, but it was worth it. Because now we know a little bit more about our island. Which, surprisingly, we didn't know much about. Alright, so where does all of this start? It starts off with these golden pens. I did tons of research on them. The golden pens were able to write down the future of anything you could imagine. For example, if I wanted to see the future of Monty, I would tell the pen, or ask the pen, or whatever, well, when is Monty going to die, or how is he going to die, or what is going to be like in the next five years, or the next hundred years, or millions of years. The pen could write down anything you imagine, and that's how we got this book. This book was written with the golden pen, and had a lot of stuff in there, let me tell you. Well, I wouldn't say it was anything major, just the future of some guy back then. I don't really know his name. They didn't really specify. They just really called him just some guy, so that's about it. But using the knowledge that they took from this book, they were able to make these using the magic and the lessons that they got from the book and the pen. The man who made the pens was also the same man that made the book, telling people how magic worked, and also the future of magic and how powers would come to be. And then these were formed, and I feel like somewhere along the line between when these were made, the diamonds were made, and then when the diamonds were created, the gods had passed down from generation to generation of people, children. So, that's how these came to be, by reading off of what another man wrote. Then, that whole generation breaks off. And then, around 500 years ago, it's when these crystals came to be. The crystal of air, water, and earth. And apparently, the same crystals that those are made out of are the same crystals made of this. Apparently, they're quite invincible. I tried hitting one with a hammer and nothing happened and that's about all not much happened here so 5,000 years ago this came to be all of that 500 years ago is when this came to be then it will branch off from that whoa, whoa, whoa I have a question if they knew all of this stuff why would they wait so long to do something else 5,000 years and then 500 years that's the, that's the major difference. Your guess is as good as mine. I would have kept using the magic if I was alive back then. But then we get to these parts. Now, this is the most recent thing. Well, not the most recent reason, but recent. Apparently, between the timeline of 500 years ago and 50 years ago, people were just using their powers. They weren't really creating anything until people discovered gold and silver. It was a major thing. People involved, people all around the world wanted some of this. But it was kind of rare. Found only on this island, nowhere else. Hmm, that's a little weird. Yeah, it kind of is. I know. You would expect gold to be all over the world, but nope. Apparently it was just on this island. But then in the war 50 years ago, they used up all the gold on armor. Then when they used up all the gold, they moved to silver. Then when they used up all the silver, they started using just normal metal. So that's why this is so rare. We could probably get billions upon billions of dollars just from knowing where these are. Then we would branch off from that. About 40 years ago, the golden, not golden, I, I said go. All right, branching off from that, we have the red walnut. It's nothing special. It's just apparently extremely sweet. I, I don't know why, but it's, it's it's nothing important. Then 
there's these. These were iffy. They're not dangerous, though. I don't... I, I didn't know what they were at first. I don't think any of us knew what they were until now. Apparently, these are seashells. What is a C? I, I don't know. I, the letter C or maybe the word C, like I can see you. I, I don't know what these are. What is a C? I, <laughs> I don't know. Don't ask me. I don't know. Guys, maybe the C is another word for saying the ocean. Yeah, right. Why don't they just say ocean shells? Why do they have to be called seashells? That's stupid. I guess. <laughs> yeah, he does kind of have a point. But have any of you all ever seen the ocean before? No. <laughs> I just found out what an ocean was today. No. Well... I've known about the ocean, but I wouldn't exactly say I knew what it was. I still don't know what y'all are talking about. I'm befuddled. Of course you are. Anyway, that settles that. And the most recent thing comes from 20 years ago. This serum that allows people to get powers. I believe the king used it. So, that's probably the best timeline you're probably going to get from me. Well, I guess it wasn't bad. I appreciate you. Anytime. It's just that I have a massive headache now. I appreciate that. Okay, yeah, I'll admit my bad. Hey, um, Freddy? What is this stuff? Ah, yes. The maps. I guess I need to explain all of this to you all. It's gonna be a lot, so kinda just buckle up. Alright. I don't know how much more information I could take in, but I'll try. Oh, don't worry. You got this. First, we're going to start off with this island. This island is called Luro Island. And I guess it's known for its city. But half of that island is used for the military. And camps like that. Stuff like that. But apparently these people get shipped over here. I guess, or canned goods or something, get shipped over here for money. And apparently this island is called Z Cargo Island. Carzo Island. You know, it's so similar to Cargo. Don't, don't worry, I understand. I got it confused too. This is Carzo Island. And I guess this island is known for its money and how rich the island is. And I guess the money gets shipped down here to our Aruna Island, Aruna Island Reef, Luna Reef Island, I think that's how it's pronounced. And this island apparently makes metal, and it ships some of that material over to this island for the tanks and stuff like that. And it ships it down here to this island, which is literally called Island Island. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Yes, it's called Island Island. Wait, what about this little island right here? Oh, that island? That island is really just mainly known for, you know, just crops and fields and stuff like that. It's nothing really special or important. Okay, okay. That's really all it is. So, back to this island. It ships everything here. And apparently this island makes material and, like, science stuff and chemicals. And when those chemicals are tested on, and I guess when they're done being tested, they get shipped down here. And I guess they get packaged up or boxed up. Then they get sent over to Lord Z Island. And as you can see, there's a chemical bottle right there. And right here, I guess they use the chemicals on people. And if it's good, they get to stay. But if they fail, they get shipped onto this boat and shipped all the way to this island. Which which is Pangea. Which, which is our island. Well, then there's also this island right here, which is just military people getting shipped here. But long story short, this is basically the history of our island. So, so let me get this straight. Wait, wh when was this map made? Well, judging by all the research I did, I guess it could have been made around the exact same time that the golden pins and the book and stuff like that came to be. But I could be wrong. 
So this must be a recreation of the map. Which means, notice how the entire world is working together as a unison. But only the bad gets shipped here. Which means, if this was at least 5,000 years ago, most of our ancestors and people like that were failed experiments. But over time, we grew into something more. And now, this is how we are. Which means our descendants were failed experiments. They didn't fit in. And if you put the puzzle pieces together, that would make sense why the whole world is against us in the attacks. Wait, you're saying the whole world is against us? Think about it. Nothing good has ever happened on this island. Nothing. The whole world is against us. Because judging by that poorly drawn thing on the sheet, according to the rest of the world, they all think we're demons. We're devils. They're lying to their people. They're trying to make their people believe that we use our power for evil. That could be right. But that begs the question. Does the rest of the world have power? Or is it just certain parts of the world? That is a good question. The whole world had powers. I I don't have no doubt in my mind that they would have attacked us by now. But I feel like it's only select few. Because I don't believe Luigi is from here. Which means he came from another island. That wouldn't make sense. Foxy, you're awfully quiet. This can't be right. What are you talking about? The king. He gave me a map of what the island looked like. What do you mean? He gave me a map. This looks nothing like the map that he gave me. What map are you talking about? I'll go get it. Look. Look. This map that the king gave me that the king said was oh this is the map of the world (laughs) bull crap Lutopia Czar Island why would an island be named after someone who's only 20 years old everything he told me was a lie everything about Czar being thousands of years old being this all powerful being He's probably just someone who uses powers to make him look strong. I can't believe he would lie to me like that. Here to think I trusted him. Well, if this is true and the whole world is against us, we need to find a way to stop them. Excuse me? How do you plan to stop literally all these islands? Like, let's go through and count them. There's one, there's two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's seven islands against one. What are we going to do? Go ramp it? I don't know. This just... This can't be real. How much more can I take? I just found out Zars, my brother. Luigi knows everything about me. He killed DK. He killed Stoner. He killed all of... All of these people. And he even hurt Jaws. And... I... I just... I don't know what to do anymore. Maybe I'm going insane or... Maybe I just need to process this better. I don't know. Look, look man. Just try to calm down, Okay. Yeah. We're here for you. Yeah. Anytime you need some help, you need to talk to someone. Thanks, guys. I don't know where I'd be without you. I might have to sleep. I think I'll go to sleep too. It's pretty late. Um, I'll, I'll, 
I'll I'll see you all in the morning. Right. Maybe Foxy is right. What do you mean? Do you actually think destroying the whole world is necessary? Think about it. If they're after us, trying to hurt us, what do you, what do you think we should do? Anything but mass genocide. Okay? Don't do anything stupid that could potentially make this island even worse than it already is. I don't want to lose the only people that I could happily call family. Alright. I, I, I guess we'll just leave it at that. We can talk more about this tomorrow. I'll go to sleep too. I'm pretty tired. Good night, Monty. Good night, Fanny.